example, my mom had seven kids. She didn't have no sheriff. She didn't have no maid in the house. She had to do everything by herself. Well, hell, I'm not your mama. I'm not what your mama. Ask your mama. I bet she didn't have to go 50-50 with your dad. Because back then, men were like the providers. Right? Take time to ask her dad. Secondly, take time to ask your mom so she can tell you her story. How broken she was. How she felt unsupported. Have you done that? The issue these days is like men want to throw tantrums with like every little thing. You force, you complain. I'm not your mama. Them days are not like these days. Men these days want you to go 50-50. So don't complain. Don't, don't complain. I ain't your mama. I'm not your mama. If I work so hard, right? I have the money to pay a chef. Make my life easy. If I work so hard, hmm, and I have the money to get a cook, make my life easy. These days you have like, where people can just cook food and you order. You know what I mean? In probably last you like a week. You know what I mean? Depending on what kind of city that you live in. For example, I want somebody to prepare me like, I'm gonna go the African way. Maybe some rice, some chicken, a bowl of salad. You know, like different varieties. You just pay them and they supply your meal. You stock that thing up. What's the stress? You have somebody to come clean your house like once every two weeks or once a month. Like deep cleaning. If you have the money, do it. I'm not your mama. I'm not. And the fact that I'm able to like afford these services does not make me lazy no it doesn't make me lazy it doesn't mean that i cannot do those stuff because i'm lazy but it's because because we have to go out there and work as women come home you'll be tired if you can afford those services it's going to save you like a lot health wise mentally physical psychologically anything that you can put together and you wonder this is why when you hear about mental health a lot is going on with women you cannot have somebody that you claim to love and you sit and watch them go through like so much it gets to a point where they start feeling like resentment towards you and you'll be wondering why if you love somebody you're gonna sacrifice for them i'm just saying if you can afford those services as a woman do it for your own good for your own mental health. Gone are those days where women used to be like, you want to be the wife. You want to be the mother. You want to be the cook. You want to be the this. You want to be the dad. We are not super women. We are not. We just do it not because, how can I even put it? It's mentally draining. We're human beings too. Mm? If you can afford those services as a woman, go for it. Mm? Go for it. Whether your partner want to pay for them or not, Go for it. If you can afford it, go for it. It's good for you. It gives you time as a woman to take care of your own self. You know, sometimes as women, we get caught up in like trying to do something or trying to do things for like everybody except us. You mentally drain. You don't even have time to even like go into the bathroom, take a good bath. Like just stay in there, soak yourself, get your makeup done, like get up in the morning and take care of yourself. Because you're thinking about taking care of other people. It's not bad. There's nothing wrong with taking care of like your family. That's your responsibility. But like I said, if you got the resources and you can go out there and get people to do this stuff for you, that gives you time to relax. That gives you time as a woman to take care of yourself. Do it and thank me later.